morning guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a strangest video update on the focus st3 the uh, blue 225 one the older one uh hopefully i'll have the springs in that today and uh, i'm gonna go take it for a drive my mate took that for a test drive i haven't drove that one yet so i'm gonna take that one out um when all the springs are in hopefully that'll all go according to plan um and a bit of a rant later after that and a bit of an update and um yeah that's about it i'll uh, i'll pop back up there now see how he's getting on with that try and film a bit of that for you uh and i'll see you in a bit oh that didn't go according to plan sorry about that um i thought the gopro was recording uh turns out we got absolutely no footage of him changing the springs um <laughs> so the only footage i've got of the focus is me uh, after I took it out for a drive, just had a quick walk around in the wind. Um, so I thought I'd just let you know, uh, that's it. I was going to try and include that footage. Um, but yeah, no, not happening. So uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Here we go, guys. Bit of a raw one, no microphone. Sitting a lot better. Hook some more springs. Put them on the rear. Now make some of a nice little motor that one. Just took it out for a little test drive. It's the first time I've drove it. I've got my mate to drive this one. And it was dropped off to him. Yeah, really nice. Sits really well now. They definitely put the wrong springs on the back. Because that sits nice. I've got a feeling the front was lowered and <laughs> the back was at some point. And they've put standard springs on the back. And also, they've got like a colour code on them. Uh, some squares, I think, he was showing me. And they were odd. So they weren't even matching rear springs for some reason. So whoever sold this or got rid of it, they tried to... Uh, keep their springs and just chucked any old springs on but um yeah sits really really well now leaving the bonnet i couldn't find one in color but it was close enough and the little stuff down there this is just going to get chucked on ebay to do someone a good turn it's a really nice motor Drives really nice, drives all straight, don't pull or nothing like that. Right, there we go. So um, yeah, the little focus looks much, much better now than springs are on. Um, it drives lovely, to be honest. So uh, I, don't, I can't remember who was messaging me, quite a few of you were interested in that little focus. Um, I bought spring. It can't. Well, I bought second-hand shocks and springs. We just threw the springs on. In the end, um, I took on board all your feedback about whether we should repair it or, you know, do it as it is and sell it. Uh, in all honesty, I'm just going to chuck it on eBay. That's that's getting sold as it is now. Now the springs are done. Same price. Uh, I think that's worth thirty-eight hundred quid all day long. So um, my drinks reduced i've got to pay the mechanics chucking the springs on and i bought the springs but a few hundred quid drink whatever it turns out to be i still think someone's going to get a cheap car out of that uh, it's a nice car it's the st3 it's got the lever the nav it's got absolutely everything on it uh, all the wheels are brand new all being refurbished um, the body's quite straight in all fairness it's uh, quite a clean looking car from a painter's point of view, I can see odds and sods that I would want to sort out myself. Uh, it's the same as any car. I mean, like I said in the first video, I think it was Cat D, uh, which means it's our equivalent to Cat N now, light panel damage. I think it was seven years ago from memory. Oh, I can't remember. It's about, about seven years, something like that. So it's had a bit of paintwork around it, like any of them cars, bumpers have been touched up and stuff like that. Um, me being me, 
if I did do all the bits on it, I, I wouldn't know where to stop. I'd carry on going around and make everything absolutely mint, and then there's no money in it. Um, I know you guys like seeing cars like that, but uh, unfortunately, this is not what pays my bills. Um, selling cars is what pays my bills. Uh, YouTube is, I know that I, you know, I make content for you guys and I like it, and I know that a lot of you like watching it, but um, I have to be realistic with what I do. So uh, yeah, that's going on eBay, that one. I can't remember, I, you're gonna have to forgive me. In the last two months or so, the channel has gone mental. We've gone from hundreds to, I think we're well over 7,000 subscribers now. And uh, I can't keep up with all the messages. <laughs> I do try and stuff like that. And also the comments, I do try my hardest, but it is hard work, it really is. So uh, any of you guys that was interested in that, it is going up for sale, it's going on eBay. If you do want it, re-message me again and I'll reply to you, that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, I think that makes someone a great motor. Um, really nice, pretty little, little thing. It sits really well now as well. Um, I think they are lowering springs that's been put on the back, got a bolt. Um, I'm sure the guy said they were lowering springs. So uh, yeah, as you can see from the short video there, I think it looks really nice. Um, drives right. Everything's right on it, so you know it makes them a good motor. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in a bit. There we go. So yeah, sorry about that. It's a bit of a um, bit of a strange video. This one. Um, not. Don't usually let things phase me, niggle me. It hasn't really bothered me, but it's highlighted there might be some kind of confusion, um, which is totally understandable. Uh, in the last focus video the st3 one well, the one today's video you know the same focus the blue one uh i've had, I had comments last night some guy was going off saying about um do the environment agency know that i'm breaking motors uh and stuff like that now normally i don't buy it uh, i'm not an idiot i know that with the amount of people that watch my videos you're going to get some negative comments some great comments and some uh, some really heartwarming comments to be fair uh, and in general you guys well I'm blown away I can't you know I can't be any more impressed with how well the, you guys are liking the channel and stuff um, but you get negative you get that in all people and that's fair enough but all I the, the guy the comments are there I didn't delete the comments um, I normally can uh, control myself and and not um, be abusive because I don't feel the need to. So I was quite reserved and I replied to every comment this guy has put down. He's got a bee in his bonnet about me and the channel for some reason. Now, in the other video, I said that my focus has turned up, my fiesta's turned up, excuse all the noise, mate, he's out there with his forklift again. And my mate wanted this little VXR, which is what I said in the video. And I said, I don't know whether he's using the engine for sank or breaking it for, you know, for parts or, um, I can't remember what else I said, something like along them lines. So this guy now thinks I break cars for a living. So I'm like, mm, okay, and you want to phone the environment agency on me. Well, that's fine. Listen, I don't break cars for a living. Uh, most of you lot know that anyway. I don't break cars full stop. Uh, if one of my very good friends, which is my mechanic, uh, wants a car, I'll buy him a car if he, if he, you know, if he wants me to bid on it for him, buy him a car. Whatever he chooses to do with that car, it's down to him. Uh, you're more, with, more than within your rights to buy a car, take it apart and use all the parts you like. Uh, the environment agency can't do nothing. Um, so, the guy, what I think has happened here, the guy's gone off on one, and he's saying about whether I declare my extra income to the HMRC and things like that. I am 100% legit. I've got accounts out there. I've got an accountant that takes care of all my stuff. I've got nothing to hide. So I was going to go in. I was going to go balls deep and let him have it. But what's the point? There's a lot of people out there that are silly. And then I thought about it. And I thought, why is he thinking this? Now, outside, you can hear the forklift going. Um, my neighbour... He does whatever with cars and that, uh, buys scrap cars, breaks them. I don't know what exactly what he does, 
he's not been here long, he's only moved in recently. I say hello, and you know, we chat if we have to. You know, I don't really know the guy, I'm just being honest. I think he thinks that I'm something to do with this yard out here. Uh, because some of my videos, I park the car out there and that's like a communal parking bit. So I just thought I'd add this rent in because I don't want you lot being confused and thinking I work or own some breaker yard. I don't, this is me, this is my little workshop. Let me turn you around. Here's show the you. Renault, covered in pieces. This is my four walls. I'm film in the middle of filming the little blue fiesta for used lot. Uh, and that's it, that's my roller shutter. That's my workshop in its entirety. And the sink, here's my little office, and all my bits and bobs. This is it, this yeah. is us. I don't want, I mean, I can only presume this guy has got his wires crossed. It hasn't got my goat up, but I sat down and thought about it and I thought, well, if this guy thinks that I'm saying to do with these guys next door and that yard and cars and braking and that, you, some of you lot might think that. And uh, I just wanted to clean the air, if that makes sense. I have nothing to do with braking cars or anything like that. This is me in my little workshop. There's 50 odd business units up here. There's so many, you know, different things. Um, and my neighbor, um, I didn't, wasn't referring to this neighbor, my other neighbor uh, wanted a car, I bought him a car, it's not a problem. So everything, you know, that he's piped off about, you can all go and read the comments in the other video. I'm not believing that they're staying there. Uh, I tried to be as diplomatic as I can be, uh, I didn't go off the handle and swear and go mad and I thought about it and I thought about it as logically as I could and I thought well if he's thinking that I'm something to do with this lot then maybe some of you's lot are. So it's turned into a bit of a ran it's a bit of a random video but I wanted to get it up uh, and I wanted to clear the out. I'm not interested. Uh, I know everybody's got their own view <laughs> and that's fine. And I'm here putting myself on a public stage for you lot. It's, you know, I totally get that. But I don't want the, the uh, decent viewers as such thinking that I'm involved in all that. That's not what I do. It's, so I thought I'd sort of clear that up. I'm sorry this has turned out to be uh, a bit of a rant video. <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, let you lot know. I didn't want you lot thinking uh, like that guy possibly thought that I am doing them kind of things when that's not what happens. I've, I've got this workshop and I rent a, a yard, a secure yard, and all of my vehicles get parked in there, locked away, done. And when I need to drag one out, I drag one out, put one back, blah, 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 you know. And that's it. That's all I do. I'm on a farm, on a business units, same as uh, most people that rent places. And, uh, and that's what we do. So I'm sorry that it's turned out into a noisy rant with all this going on out there. But I wanted to clear the air and make sure that my subscribers understood what it was that I did do. And then I wouldn't have to waste an hour of my life replying to people um, for no reason. So yeah, sorry about that. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll wrap that up and we'll uh, leave it at that. And we'll resume normal business. Um, this thing be done very soon. Uh, next video coming up for that. Um, we've got one caliper for the Granada. We're waiting for the other caliper to turn up. Um, waiting for a wiper motor. I think we just bought the correct wiper motor for the Merc. So we've got plenty more coming. And also, I don't know when but I think the Cosy might be going on the ramp soon to do the rear main oil seal. If not, I still want to drag it out and I want to give that a good old scrub and we'll go around the Cosy and we'll have a look and see how bad the paintwork is, what I actually have to do and we'll go from now. Um, but my plan is this week, the Renault 5 is getting dragged out and I'm going to crack, in, crack on with that and there'll be plenty more videos of that coming up soon. So. I'm going to get cracking, I'm double busy, I'm going to get this little fiesta done, wrapped up and um, go from there. Sorry about the boring video, I know loads of you would have clicked off by now, but um, those of you who haven't uh, and those of you who are new to the channel, uh, sorry about that, but yeah, just wanted to clear the air. Uh, that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, if you ain't already subscribed, <laughs> 
<laughs> hit subscribe and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one